Hello fellow human, welcome back to another Dank Doggo Pro Revenge. So our revenge story for today is from you slash ToBeMe11, with the title of You Stole My Car, I'll Make You Homeless. TLDR, my friend hired a maid, she stole his car, plus some other stuff, she got in a very serious debts, and she will most likely become homeless when she got in out of jail. This story happened approximately 4 years ago to a friend of mine. He and his wife, which was girlfriend back then, took a house loan, bought a new Chevrolet Camaro, and in general they were preparing for her life together. He has proposed to her. Because of their lack of free time, due to their hard working to pay off the loan, they didn't have time for themselves nor for the abnormal amount of other things such as housework. So they hired a maid. His first impressions about her were good, and they decided that she's the person that they will trust. And they handled her their house keys because they were at work most of the time she came around to clean their house. First week she worked hard, and always paid attention to details, and nicely cleaned their house from the bottom to the very top. She was also instructed not to let anyone in, and to always lock the door when she left. After 6 months of her working there, strange things began to happen. Not in any anomalous way, but things started to disappear, being stolen. It all started with small things like AA batteries, which are barely noticeable missing. But soon, things graduated as phone chargers, perfumes, the more expensive ones, and some electrical gadgets went missing. My friend thought that he simply lost them. But soon, the maid raised suspicions as the things went missing when my friend wasn't present, when she was detailing their house, but without any evidence, blaming her wasn't in place. Also, he found out on social media that she got some serious debts, at least thousands of dollars, alignments, divorce court settlements, etc. So he decided to install security cameras, and he didn't tell the maid. Five weeks forward, and he had enough evidence to press charges on her as things she stole were valued at over $250. In my country, anything stolen above $250 bucks is considered a crime. He got furious when his flash disk containing private documents as well as some of his billings and his official work documents was stolen. But he wanted her to get even more into stealing so he can squish even the last cent out of her. So he came up with a plan. He told the maid that he and his girlfriend will be gone for a week for a honeymoon and that he will go in by a taxi not to pay extra money airport charges for the parking. That means his brand new Chevrolet Camaro will stay parked in the house the maid has got keys of. They rented an apartment through Airbnb just a few blocks away from his place and he placed a GPS tracking keychain into his car so he could see where his car is through the phone app. He then placed the car keys in a visible spot on the house so the maid will notice. All what was left is wait for the magic to happen. And his intuition was right. After two days of almost constant watching the GPS tracker's location, the car left the garage. All of a sudden, the car was cruising at 90 mph on the highway. My friend immediately called the cops. They catch the maid something like 20 miles or 30 kilometers away. And now the revenge can take place. He decided to press charges on the maid. At the court, the maid told the judges my friend told her to drive to come some untold location. She acted like she forgot where it is, and the one that should go to jail is him. Because he wrongly accused her and he just wants to get money from her to pay his loan. But the tables have turned. My friend and his lawyer showed the court all of the video evidence of her stealing his stuff valued highly above $250. It was like something $40,000 including the car. So it was a crime. She starts swearing and telling every single lie she could think of. The security had to calm her down. She is facing 5 years in jail and she was charged like $5,000 including all the stolen property, but the car, his lawyer and uh, some other court stuff. The price was excluding the car because it was returned almost immediately. Few days later, the police did a house check on her. 
and most of the stolen stuff was there. There were also some other things reported missing from other customers of her. Due to her previous debts and her new ones she owes, she will likely become a homeless when she got out of jail. Hope you will enjoy, you escort! Alright, serves you right! Heck, I myself is dang poor, but I would never have done the same if I were in her shoes. Stealing not only makes you a terrible human being, but it is also a crime and can easily make you serve jail time with proper evidence, just like the maid in this story. Being poor is not an excuse for stealing, because other people worked equally if not even harder than you to earn those things to reach the status what they are today. The maid in the story is just ducking toxic and an a-hole too. If not for the hidden security camera, she would have lied through her teeth at the court. And when she realized how ducked up she was, she was just start to swearing and verbally assault OP's friends. That makes me cringe really hard. I mean, just kept your mouth shut. The evidence was right there on the table. Those kind of people need to spend some time in the jail to rethink about their life decisions. The story is somewhat resembles the popular Korean movies Parasites. Just that it was a bit more comedy I guess. And the difference was that the owner of the house in that movie was crazy rich to notice minor stuff was missing like, I don't know, AA batteries? While well, OP's friend was in debt. Personally though, I think the maid was really dumb to steal electronic gadgets and stuff. I mean when you purchase a phone, it comes with just one charger. Not to mention it is an item which people use basically every single day. I'm not saying you should, it's terrible. But if you were going to actually stealing something, at least aim for the stuff that they don't actually use often. Perfume and chargers are stuff that people might use every day. Alright, and now for the comments. We have the first comments from you slash Mohawk Riff. Great story. Also, your English is perfect. Never apologize for it. Username Classic GTA replied. Reminds me of the Club Penguin meme. Story to that English. Where were you when maid got jail time? I was at Airbnb. Home when phone beeped. Camaro is going. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> I just can't get enough of these kind of memes, you know. It has been ages since someone mentioned the Club Penguin meme. Outstanding game when it was in its prime. And this does sound like an okay boomer moment, but I bet a lot of young teenagers nowadays have no clue what this is. Share your Club Penguin experience in the comment section after watching this video. You slash Realistic Badger said, you wouldn't steal a car. You slash I'm a paper napkin AMA commented. You wouldn't steal a download. Um, not sure what kind of meme or reference this is. If you guys know, please help. The OP said, I want to thank you all for nice comment. I didn't think this post will be so popular. Smiley face. Username Yeetis the Bart replied. This was a great read. Thanks for posting it. It makes me wish I had enough coins to give you an award. Regardless, take my poor man's gold. And we have the final comment from you slash Professor Amateur. Nobody has perfect English, except for Sean Connery. Okay, interesting thoughts. Alright, that's it for today, fellow humans. Thanks for watching. Dang Doggo appreciates your time. If you enjoy our content and want to see more of us, stay tuned and subscribe. We have plenty more videos about various r slashes across Reddit. Don't forget to smash that like button or doggo will cry. Also, you can always tell us your doggo comrades your experiences in the comment section. I'll catch up with you guys later in the next video.